Welcome. Today we will be looking at how to connect and go online with the Microscan 3 Core EIP safety scanner from SICK with a Rockwell Safety PLC. In this example, a compact GuardLogix safety PLC connected by one Ethernet port to the Microscan 3 Core EIP scanner will be used. Additionally, the PC being used is connected to the other port on the PLC. To add a new Microscan 3 safety device into Rockwell's RS Logix software, it is necessary to program the device with an IP address. To set up a new Microscan 3 configuration, start a new project in Safety Designer and add a Microscan 3 core Ethernet IP SIP safety variant. In the general setting, set the IP address of the scanner. Hang on to this address because it will be needed in the RS Logix software. At this point, the scanner could be completely configured. Refer to the quick start guide if there are questions when configuring the Microscan 3. For the configuration to become active in the device, it must be transferred. Because it is a safety device, it does not automatically update with changes made to it. The transfer can be done using the USB programming cable connection. Once the scanner has been assigned an IP address, the device can be added to RS Logix. To add the Microscan 3 Ethernet IP, a generic profile must be created and can be done using the following steps. First, right click on the Ethernet, which is found on the controller organizer, then select New Module. In the search bar, type in Generic Ethernet IP Safety Module, or parts of it. Once found, select this module type and click Create. To set up the generic profile, several tabs need configuration. In the general tab, name the device and set the IP address. The IP address must match the IP address assigned to the scanner. Clicking the change button at the bottom right of the general tab will open module definitions. In this page, module and connection details will need to be defined. To simplify this process and minimize the info which must be looked at, go back to the safety designer software and choose the Ethernet IP Overview tab. Here, all the information necessary for a generic profile can be set up and easily copied and pasted from the safety designer to RS Logix. For customer ID set up in the module definition, click the Copy to Clipboard button and return to the generic profile setup in RS Logix. Right click in the vendor data box and then paste the information from Safety Designer. Continue this process for the remaining definitions in the module tab and repeat for the connections tab. Click OK when complete. Another tab which is optional but recommended is found under the safety tab. Here a configuration signature can be monitored. The configuration signature can again be copied from Safety Designer and pasted into this field. However, this should only be completed just prior to commissioning and with the final scanner program in place. Changes to the scanner program will change the configuration signature. This feature works by checking the configuration signature from the scanner at the PLC level. If any changes or differences are detected, it will fault out the device. This is a great feature for monitoring the safety devices on the network to avoid tampering and ensuring the proper safety is in place. Now that the scanner has been configured and added to the RS Logix program, going online with the device is easy. In RS Logix, go online with the PC. This may require a download if new changes have been made. Once the PLC is connected, Go back to Safety Designer and connect or identify to the project. Assuming the IP addressing in the scanner has been correctly set on the network of the PLC, the scanner will be connected or identified. To verify that their connection has been made, check the bottom left of the Microscan 3 box in the Device Overview page. If it reads connected or the scanner is online, programming or diagnostics can now be completed remotely. We now have a connection between the Microscan 3 
Core EIP, and the Rockwell PLC. Safety signals as well as diagnostic signals can now be sent back and forth between the two devices. With some additional programming on the PLC side, the complete integration of the MicroScan Core EIP will be finished.